Rated T for Teen. What's up, guys? Nevin Dravinsky joining you again today with the 411 on UFC 2009 Undisputed Career Month. Now, there's a lot to cover here, so let's get right to it. Start off by spending some time creating your fighter's appearance and selecting his weight class. After this, you'll select your fighter's striking and grappling techniques. Next, you'll allocate points to your fighter's three primary attributes and 16 skills. This allows you to mold your fighter into the mixed martial artist of your dreams. Put a lot of points in the standing striking and kicking skills, and you'll be a feared striker. But neglect your ground skills, and you'll have a hard time surviving should your opponent take you down. But don't sweat it too much at this stage. You'll have plenty of time during your career to earn more points to improve your fight. Now you'll just make the finishing touches, like adding a few sponsors to your shorts to help earn some cred, and selecting your head coach. Hmm, let's choose this handsome devil. Now that fighter creation is behind you, it's time to head into the octagon for your tryout match. Throughout your career, you'll receive emails from UFC personnel, fighters, sponsors, and trainers. And you can make decisions regarding fight offers, sponsor activities, and actual sessions with UFC camps and trainers. It's best to plan your time carefully to ensure you have time to train, show up for the fans, and rest between fights. Now you do this by managing a week-to-week -week calendar for your fighter, which highlights upcoming events and keeps track of the time until your next fight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! Spend time training attributes to raise your strength, speed, or cardio. Spar to earn points you can apply to your skills. Keep track of your training as it will affect your fighter's stamina. You'll need to schedule time for rest between events or risk going into your fights with low stamina. And facing off against the best fighters in the world when you're overtrained is just asking for trouble. Now as your cred grows with each victory, you'll make the jump from fight night undercards to prime time pay-per-view events. Now what's cred, you ask? Well, it's your overall standing as a fighter. Earning cred unlocks upgrades for your gym, new sponsors, camp invites to train with the UFC elite, and lots of other cool stuff. Train hard, win fights, and get your shot at the belt. That's what career mode is all about. But after your career in the octagon is over, things are just getting started for your fighter. Retire him from career mode so that he can move into the exhibition roster and participate in both offline and online matches against other creative fighters and UFC pros from around the world. Live from the Mandalay Bay, 